Hello, hello. Audio check. Okay, it seems to sound okay. To me, the game sounds a little low. But there's not anything really happening right now. It's just a bit of light music and you can sort of hear the wind uh, causing the, the banner in the forefront to, to flap. And I'm worried that as we start the game, maybe it'll launch into a loud cutscene. So this is my first playthrough of Bloodspear. Uh, the title of this stream is Suffering Souls Withdrawal. I was... <sighs> I logged into Dark Souls earlier, and I'm thinking I probably will upload this or transfer this to the YouTube channel uh, later in the week. So to give those who may not be aware of my soul's status, I will say this. I beat Demon Souls, uh, the PlayStation 3 version, back in 2009, but I beat that only, a, I want to say it was several months ago, and um, we were bouncing, or we were going to bounce back and forth between the Souls series and the Xeno series, and so after Demon Souls, we jumped into Xeno Gears. For the PlayStation 1, we beat it. Um, we actually beat Demon Souls five times. And we're currently in the process of playing our way through Dark Souls Remastered. Ah, Jamera is here. Hello, Jamera. Welcome, welcome. Jamera has redeemed Hydrate very well. I was actually just spicing up my water. There we go. Put some lemon flavoring in it. Now I have lemonade. Cheers, Jamera. Very good. How are you doing tonight? So to get back to my soul's status. We've been playing through Dark Souls Remastered on Thursdays for RPG Afternoons. That is our, that is our day dedicated to role-playing games on the stream channel. And it's been a lot of fun. And... Um, the thing is, I know that some, because I stream something different every day, or just about something different every day, and I know some people tune in just on particular days to see me make progress in a specific game on those days. And so because of that, I will not progress Dark Souls beyond where we're currently at. And uh, that area is called the Tomb of the Giants. It is a rough area for me. Um, I can't really do anything there. I can't grind. Uh, I, I can't really... I don't want to explore any further than I am. And so I just want to sort of hang out uh, where I'm at at a bonfire and wait till Thursday to continue the playthrough. But I really enjoy the Souls series, and so I want to play uh, a Souls game. But I'm... I'm waiting on those. I'm waiting on, on us to reach those different Souls games on Thursdays to progress. But I read news about this game called Bloodspear. Um, it's a free-to-play game. It's supposed to be very short. According to the website howlongtobeat.com, you should be able to beat this game in between 30 to 40 minutes, which probably means it'll take us like two hours. <laughs> because it always takes me longer than what's listed on the site. Jamer says, I'm doing good. That's good, Jamer. I'm glad. I'm glad. 
But it's a free-to-play game. It's short, so I figured I'd give it a go. I don't know where I'm going to put this in terms of the YouTube channel. I don't know if this will be um, fleshed out enough to the point where I could classify it as an action RPG, and thus it would be uh, placed into the RPG Afternoons channel. If not, and it's more like a hack-and-slash action game, I may try to drop it into the Monday Marvels channel. We'll see. Um, but it's very short, like I said, 30 to 40 minutes. Our typical um, game stream sessions are at least at least four hours. Um, so it would be woefully short if I chose this for an actual uh, game stream session. But we're going to go through it, see how it is. And uh, this is running on the Steam Deck. It seems to be okay. Um, there's no rating for it as of yet on the Steam Deck. For those who don't know, Steam Deck has different ratings. It can be like un it can be um, Steam Deck verified, which I mean it runs flawless on the deck, or it could be playable, which means you might have to tweak it a bit, or it could be listed as unplayable. Uh, at the time of this this playthrough, it's listed as unknown. So we'll see what happens, but it looks like it's running okay. Um, other than that. We'll, we'll give it a go, see what it's like. I'm getting some Dark Soul vibes here with the, the bit of the music that I can hear. And uh, the the castle, I like the look of it. reminds me of Boletaria from Demon Souls. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to dive in, and hopefully this will sort of uh, quench my thirst for souls until this Thursday. And today is... Um, Tuesday night, so I only have like two days left to go. So let me pop in my earbuds so I can hear the game better. And General Organa is here. Hello, General Organa. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hmm. Okay. All right, earbuds are in. Let me get the controller. And let's check out Blood Spear. Also, I do want to give credit to where credit is due. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So before we get further into it, let me give you a little story. Story time of Blood Spear, of what it is, what it's supposed to be about. This is something I typically do at the beginning of all our streams. And uh, I always like to call out the developer's name. And uh, if it's good, then I believe the developers deserve credit. If it's bad, they know who to blame. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm pulling it up on my phone. Blood Spear is developed by a team called Blood Spear Dev. It's, uh, they really put their name into their work there. And this is released on August 13th, 2021 on Steam. The description states, Blood Spear is a unique ranged action-adventure student game in which you play as a demonic spear. Emerging from a deep slumber, you are thirsty for blood. Throw with precision to impale and defeat powerful foes inside grandiose environments where a long-coveted power lies. Mm. It sounds good. And for its features, it does say full controller support, so that is good. Alright, let us begin. Settings. This always makes me a bit nervous. Sometimes turning on V-Sync on the Steam Deck can like really cause chaos <laughs> with resolution. Um, you know, I'll just keep it off. Let's display. How do I get to graphics? Do I... Ah, shoulder button. Gotcha. Quality preset? No. Yes, in so. Ooh, you can see it in real time. Nice. Hello? Medium. That's nice. I. 
Okay, I do notice the difference between medium and high. You can kind of see the, the individual lines on the bricks a bit more. I do not notice the difference between high and insane. I'll just keep it on high. Uh, motion blur is fine. Bloom is fine. Chromatic aberration. Dirt mask. I'm not sure what all these things are, but that's fine. Audio. Really? This is master volume? Does this sound quiet to anybody else? It sounds kind of quiet to me. I thought maybe it was on a default volume setting or something, and I was just going to crank it up. This is the max in-game volume, and you just saw me tap the, uh, the Steam Deck there. That's the Steam Deck's max volume. I can go in through through the stream volume on my stream software and bump up the volume that way. But like I said earlier, I'm not sure if once the game starts it it's going to have like a loud cutscene or something, so we'll, I guess we'll just hold off on that for now. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, controls. Oh, that is... No, no, okay. It has Xbox controls. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, but eh, whatever. Uh, look. No. Take aim. I think that's L2. Can I change this? It doesn't look like I can change it. No. Okay, shoot is R2. B? What is B? Good thing I have an Xbox controller next to me for reference. Okay, so that's circle. So, circle to run. Shatter Spears is R1. Absorb Blood is Square. Okay. Interact is X. Okay. And that's it. Okay. I would change the shoulder buttons if I could, but it's, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. It's fine. All right. New game. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. Is that a quote from Solid Snake? Huh. I know he said that, but I don't know if he was the originator of that quote. Probably not. Looks like the eye from Soul Calibur. Oh, I thought that would be the case. Can they come up here? Now I can kill the other weak ones. Hell, trigger to aim the blood spear. Hmm. Ah, hello, cat dude. How are you doing? And, oh, oh, he's getting closer. Throw the blood spear. More of the defeated enemies. Oh, ah! No! No! Thank you for the raid, cat dude. I am not trying to ignore you. I'm trying not to die. Um. And then I show. Well, I can ask you now. What were you playing?
And hello everyone. From the raid, my name is Lord Orpheo. And I'm a variety streamer. This is my first playthrough of this game called Blood Spear. And uh, on Thursdays I've been playing through Dark Souls Remastered and I really enjoy it. Uh, but I have held off on making any uh, progress in that today. And that is because... Okay, just a few more. That is because I have a, a stream schedule. I stream different things throughout the week. And I know that some people probably just show up on Thursdays to watch me play Dark Souls. So I don't want to... Uh, I missed. I don't want them to miss out on any level for story progression. So I thought I'd try something different. And this is free to play. It's supposed to be pretty short, 30 to 40 minutes. And so, uh, oh my, they're still coming. Maybe there's just three left. Or maybe they just stop spawning once you... Once you've absorbed enough. Okay. Alrighty. You're in focus now. Kaji says, Good evening, Lord Orpheo. I was playing Shroud of the Avatar, single player mode. Oh, very cool, Cat Dude. Very cool. How is that going? I tried Shroud of the Avatar a while ago and I really enjoyed it. I was going through a, uh, a time where I wanted to uh, sort of get into uh, another MMORPG. Shout out to Cat Dude. And I started playing um, Shroud of the Avatar multiplayer on my Steam Deck. My Steam Deck is like my, my only little gaming computer. And uh, unfortunately, it's a bit, a bit more uh, than the Steam Deck can handle. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I got a decent ways in until it started to crash. Um, but yeah, very, very fun game. So who knows, maybe with the Steam Deck 3, <laughs> I'll be able to jump in there and, uh, and pick up from where I left off. But thank you for the raid. Like I said, I'm trying this out, and uh, I've heard mixed... Actually, I haven't really heard much about this at all. I, what happens if I walk down here? Huh. Oh, I guess, I guess that's it. What is this? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Cat dude says, do Cat dude says, was doing fine, but I hit a snag where a quest item isn't being given and I can't progress without it. Oh, that stinks. Filing a bug report now. How far into the game are you? That's a pretty cool origin story. So we're all sort of knights from a distant kingdom. We're all crawling for the spear at the same time. And my character just happened to reach before anyone else. And by the command of the spear, we had to slay the others. And uh, Blood Spear is supposed to be... We're not really supposed to be this character. We're actually supposed to be the spear. Uh, whoever claims the spear first or tries to claim it becomes possessed by it. And uh, we enact its will. 
which is, I guess, to make its way back to wherever it wants to go. It's, and during the intro, it said that it was scorned and left by its people. Maybe it's trying to make its way back. Cat Dude says, Quest of Love is finished. Starting Quest of Truth. Oh, I think you're far beyond me. <laughs> I never got, I don't think I got that far. Ah, and Wipeout's here. Sup, sup. What's this? Another Dark Souls? It is a Souls like. It is called Blood Spear. And it's supposed to be 30 to 40 minutes long. It is free to play. It's single player. And uh, I really wanted to play more Dark Souls, but I'm waiting on I'm waiting till Thursday, so I'm giving this a try. It has full controller support. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, maybe this is the end of the level? Or I just died, one of the two. Oh, I guess this is the next area. What happens if I try to go back? You can't go back. Okay. So I guess that was just like the tutorial area. It wants to be found by its creators. I don't know if found is the right word. It seemed a little jilted that it was abandoned by its creators. So maybe it really just wants to go back and kill everyone. I mean, it's a living weapon, so weapons kind of don't do much except kill, defend. But the combat in this seems very singular, in that it seems you can only do uh, one thing, which is to aim and throw your spear. Okay, that was the wrong button. <laughs> There we go. We can charge it up, throw it at enemies, and uh, we just keep doing that till they die. Uh, when they do die, we can hold down this little button that makes the light go on the back of the spear, and that absorbs the blood that they drop, and uh, that replenishes our health. And then we can also press this button. Not sure what that does. The game hasn't explained that to me yet. And... Um, that breaks all the light spears that are created when we throw them individually. But this is a student project. It looks pretty cool. What is this? Talk? I have to keep referencing an Xbox controller near me because I'm using a... Okay, it's X. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller to control this. You return again. Will you find what you are seeking this time? We'll see. Huh. Oh, maybe this is like a checkpoint. Maybe if I die, I come back here. That could be it. Maybe it's like an echo. Press circle to dash. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Collision detection right there for you. One spear to rule them all. Yes, and in the darkness to drain all their blood. Oh, 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 hello there. Oh, yes, we got him. Give me your blood. Yes. It looks like it caps out. Like, you can, you can drain more blood to fill that bar up higher, but it disappears after a while. Hmm. Wipeout says, all the eyeball and the spear reminds me of Soul Calibur. I said that at the beginning of the stream, too. The life bar has a huge offset from the edge of the screen. 
Only some idiot college professor would put it that far from the corner. I bet he thought he was being smart by not using the CRT overscan region. But who the heck uses a CRT anymore? Eh? Oh, what is that? What happens if I step in it? Can I step in it? I can step in it. Nothing bad happens. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Press to dash. I'm dashing. I'm dashing. Oh, what is this? Ow! That wasn't very nice. Ah! I wonder if it can hit me from here. Nope, I don't think it can. Right in the hole. Empyrean Mausoleum. Hmm. This looks very Dark Souls-ish. Very Demon Souls-ish. That looks like... This looks like Bolataria Castle. From Demon Souls. Let's see what this red thing is. It'd be nice if the, the press B to dash thing would go away now. Read. Charge Spear. Hold the attack button to throw further and deal more damage. Okay. I don't think I can jump. We can jog. We can sprint. Oh, it disappeared. The whole B thing. Absorb blood. Cancel. Triangle does nothing. Did I just come from there? I guess I did. I thought I came from like here. Oh, there is an enemy over there. Can I hit it from here? Am I that OP? Can I do that? Looks like it has minor fall off. Oh my goodness, I can... That's that's pretty awesome right there. I also don't know if there's any hidden items or anything around here. It doesn't There's no status screen. Like, I can't go into the menus and change my armor or weapons or anything. What? Whoa. What? What was that? Oh, that's so cool! That's what it wanted me to do the entire time. If you hold circle, then you run. But if you just tap circle, it's like you have a, a short-range teleport. Like a blood dash. That is so cool. That I like. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Go away! Go away! Go away! Yes, that is mine. For centuries now, the bridge has been falling apart. Wow. <laughs> but some unknown force keeps it standing. What do you want? Go away. Ah. Oh. Ah. Can I hide behind here? I can. Okay. I mean, I guess that's when I when I try to aim the spear. Um. Nice guy.
when I try to aim the spear, um, I can't run. The shatter spear is an inflict damage boost. Oh, if they die too far away from you, you can't absorb their blood. Hmm. It regenerates? Hmm. I guess it can't absorb that. I don't really need to hold. It says to hold left trigger to aim and right trigger to, to, to throw, but really you can just hold down right trigger, and that works. Ah, Slayer is here. Hello, Slayer. How are you doing? I feel like the frame rate could be better. It feels either sluggish or choppy. But again, I mean, it's it's a free game, so. Oh look, they're working over there. They're hammering something. Let's disturb them. Imagine if Dark Souls were this easy. You choose the Spearman class. And you basically have an infinite spear that you can throw. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty cheap, but it's pretty awesome. I wonder if they'll attack me or if they'll ignore me. I feel like they'll just ignore me. They say a giant creature once tore this hole in the bridge. I think I heard it once. Its scream resonating from the mountains. But it might have just been the wind. Oh, that's cool. The spear I used to kill this guy is actually holding his body uh, to the wall. It has it pinned to the wall. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see if I can knock it down if I shatter the spear. Yeah, I can. I like that. That was a nice effect. All right, so I guess if you're short on blood, you can heal yourself with these guys. Oh. Well, assuming you don't knock them off the bridge. There we go, back to full health. Oh, oh. Ah! No! Oh yeah, the frame run on this is kind of bad. I wish I could just swing it like a melee weapon. I have an idea. I have an idea. There we go. Yeah, you thought twice about it now, aren't you? That's an... Okay. I can kind of get behind that. This is Steam Deck. This is Steam Deck. So... If you keep missing with the spear because your aim is off, then you can shatter the spears around the enemy and they'll inflict damage. So it looks like... Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone there. It looks like they might actually stagger the enemy as well. How is he hitting you from here? He has some pretty awesome aim. Yeah. 
There we go. Wonder if there's any way I can adjust this. Um, would VSync do anything? I guess I'll try it. You think maybe it's motion blur that's doing that? Let's see. No. Hmm. I'll try turning settings down to medium. Maybe that's it? It feels a little bit better. Maybe that was it. You can really tell the difference between low and medium settings on here. No, even on low, there's, there's lag. Cat Dude says, contrary to what happens in movies, spears are only for impaling, not slashing. Pretty sure they're slashing moves in Wushu spears. Hmm. Huh. Well, let me try turning off Bloom and Chromatic Aberration and Dirt Mask. I don't know what any of these things are. My character doesn't feel as sluggish anymore, which is good. But I still feel like the frame rate is very choppy. How do I... That's not it. How do you... What's the quick access menu? I don't want the quick access menu. Or do I? I do. Okay. Um, Wow, FSR looks so much better. Uh, okay, most spears, the ones with straight heads. If you miss with the tip of the spear and a slash, you will get a bonk like a like a bow stab. Not ideal, but not useless. True, true. All right, we'll just keep going from here. Actually, let me go back into the settings and just put everything back the way it was. Take VSync back off. Put it to insane. Okay. Oh, no, that's really bad. Never mind. <laughs> that's really bad. I guess that does play some role in it. We'll leave it on high. Yeah, I'd be interested in seeing you run through this wipeout, maybe uh, on your desktop, and see if maybe there's still this slowdown. Like, ooh! Let me know if it's the game or if it's the... Um... Oop, wrong button. Or if it's the, uh, the Steam Deck. There's one. Two. I think I can stack up to three on here. Oh! What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Give me that blood. I guess I just destroyed his shield. I didn't like kill him. I should have just hit him with two uh, two spears and then made the spears explode. Oh, he's up there. Oh, there, no, there's another one down here. There's multiple archers. I wanted to see if I could just spam the spear. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to die. It is not helping me. Ow! It's that that archer got me. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, he's dedicated. Possess or give up? Find a spirit to get back to life. Can I repossess my old body? A is X, right? On the X. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna have to sit with an Xbox to control my next to me. Okay, that is supposed to be X. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can't possess my body because my body is already dead. I have to find some other body to possess. Oh. What is this? Oh, that's what those those things are. I can possess one of those bodies. How far can I travel this way? You die once and you, you get to see the entire level. Oh, but you can probably only die so many times. That's what it is. Reborn. The ones you see in Wushu demos have curved heads, not optimal for throwing. Ah. Many kinds of spears. You've seen the curved ones before. Ah! 
Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. I wish you could change the button layout too. I mean, I could change the button layout from within Steam Deck, but I don't want to do that. It would have been nice to do it from within, like, the game. I feel like if I backtrack, there's still someone over here that wants to kill me. Am I right about that? No. But it looks like I can hit this person here. There we go, that helped a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. There was a red thing I saw here earlier. When I first got to this area, maybe it was just a bunch of blood to absorb. It could be it. Now, this is where I came from. This is where my old body died. Yeah, I came from over there. Okay, never mind. Alright. Maybe the boss is through that door and that's when the the uh the game ends. I have to say, for a student project, this isn't too bad. Like I said, uh, they really need work on the frame rate, but then that it could just be very unoptimized. I kind of like to see this on uh, Wipeout's beefy gaming desktop. Um, I like the texture work. The character feels a little a little weird how his how he runs. That's just that's something minor. That's just something you can iron out. But the skybox is quite nice. I like the flying birds. These black pieces of I'm not sure what they're supposed to be debris that kind of fall and then disappear. I don't know if that's part of the story. I don't know if that's just dirt effects. That's just kind of weird. Actually, I think, I wonder if that's what's meant by the dirt mask. Oh no, I have all that stuff off anyway. Um, but, um, yeah, the game looks nice. game has forced feedback. The controller shook. This is the first time I've ever played a Steam Deck game where the controller shook. Something doesn't feel right that. I feel like maybe I just have too much stuff on? Or this game is just too unoptimized? I don't know. That does feel better. Oh, lots of eyes here. So they want you to sprint through the center so you don't get hit. But why would I do that, though? Why can't I just kill everything? I'm fine with killing everything. You get to heal that way, too. A lock-on would be nice, too. But, I mean, if the game had lock-on, I think it would be too cheap. Because you already have an infinite spear that 
at least at the beginning of the game, seems to be very OP. Like, I'm, li I'm literally one-shotting stuff if I can hit them. So, there's no real reason, I guess, to ever upgrade the weapon. At least, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if the game were longer, you would have find power-ups for the spear. But... Oh, that's what it wanted. I see. So with the eye, um, there are spikes here that come up and they'll they'll block you from going through the passageway. So I guess if I were to have sprinted... I wonder since the spears are broken out, the eyes will heal themselves. Hmm. Maybe not. But, um... Yeah, we didn't, if you kill the eye, then you don't really have to worry about that. No archers, that's good. Oh, evil eyes. Yeah, now it feels more normal. Now there's like, there's hardly any frame issues. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh well, we missed some lore. I miss the old world. So, okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. So if your character doesn't die and they make it to like another one of these wispy people, then you can talk to them and they kind of give you more lore of the world. Or they just kind of tell you a cool anecdote. Uh, but if you die before you reach them, you kind of miss out on what they're, on what they would tell you otherwise. So that's, that's a cool mechanic. Like they could give you clues about upcoming bosses or upcoming enemies. I think that's neat. That's a really cool mechanic. Oh, that's like a nest the evil eyes. What's that? Are there multiple nests in here? No, not that I see. Hmm. Oh, I heard an archer. Oh, I see, I see. What is this? Shatter spears. Shatter your planted spears to inflict more damage from afar. Throw, and then shatter. Okay. And I thought I could absorb blood from there as well. Oh, that is a big shield. I think we'll get that archer. There's a pain in my rear end. He kept shooting with arrows. Where are you? There you are. Me alone. Evil blood. Oh, that's already. Ah, this looks kind of sus. I thought so. Oh, 
Hello there. We seek your power, but our greed turned against us. Now you have enslaved us for eternity. Well, I wonder if these are the souls of the other knights that I killed. Whee! Oh, I thought I was gonna slide. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Yes! Oh no. Oh, there's so many of you. Yes. Oh, so much teasing. What's that down there? Is that another spear like the one I have? I wonder if that'll enhance the power of my spear. It looks like you're praying to it. Oh, I hear footsteps. Ah! Oh, you really have to control your panic. You really have to control your panic. They could have some interesting power-ups in this game. Like, I think one interesting power-up, or one useful power-up, would be if your cursor could always stay on the screen, even if you're not um, holding the spear to throw it. I think that would be a, a very useful power-up. lock of course, would be another one. Though they could make Lock-On optional. Like, Lock-On would be good... Um, if you're just trying to fight a, a large group of enemies, but lock on could actually work against you uh, if a boss had crits that you had to to connect with. So many enemies down here. I feel like this is an optional area. Like I could have potentially dashed over those boards and not fallen down here. Oh, what's he doing? Headshot. I can. There we go. Oh, yes. We should have never, we should never have come here. Hmm, why do you say that? Uh-oh, what's that? Oh, it's an evil eye. It's not nice, sir, not nice at all. What was the point of that? I got excited. I thought that maybe this was a power-up or something. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't supposed to kill him so quickly? I don't know. 
power. And if I hit you with my spear, does that do anything? No? Okay. Can I get up there? Nope. Alright, fine. Oh, this is cheap. He's really good at aiming that bow. That noise. They're groaning. Well, they shot me in the butt. Let me get some free help. Oh, that's that's so horrible. Wow. I keep missing. I'll go for the, the chest. There we go. That was sad. He was dodging me by just staying in one spot working. Oh. That was nice. Burner! All right, so do I go through there or do I go up? If I go up, is there, a, there is a door up there. What's down here? There's a spearman. Peekaboo, I see you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Easy. I guess it could have come from this direction. What were you blocking? What were you? Oh, there's another person there. What are you two guarding? This has to be significant somehow. This wooden thing. Maybe they just never got around to, to finishing that. Oh well. Alright. Well, I guess up we go. Why is your shield so big? Oh! Oh, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's dancing. This spear is pretty OP. I mean, he's a he was a giant enemy. And I just one-shot him. What was that? Barrel fell. I thought maybe someone was hiding within the barrels. Be careful. Look out for archers. Spearmen hiding around the corner. Oh, there's a mushroom over there. I knew it! Waiting on me. Coming for you. There we go. Okay, what's going on, guy? Your selfish desire for revenge has corrupted this place. Hmm.
Interesting, interesting. There has to be an evil eye doing that, but... Yep, right there. I can't kill him from here, can I? That would be pretty funny if I could. Oh my goodness, I can. I wonder if that's how they designed you to... to do that. Actually, there's a boardwalk bridge right across. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. What? Oh, <laughs> Can I possess him? Nope. Maybe if you make it to like a new area and die, you can possess a stronger body. Now that's an interesting concept. Like, what if the further into the game you get, uh, the game gets harder? Your spear stays as strong as it is. Maybe it gets upgraded slightly, but your defense never goes up. Um, but if you get to a new area where there are stronger bodies for you to possess, then yeah, you can possess a stronger body and then continue on. But maybe the game would have different endings depending upon, and maybe even different NPC interactions depending on the body that you would possess. So like if you could possess a knight at the beginning of the game and basically the tutorial area and then you could carry that with you through the end of the game maybe you get like the best possible ending whereas if you get like much further in and then all of a sudden you possess the body of like i don't know a gargoyle or a demon or something then yeah the game's going to be defensively a lot easier for you but maybe you're going to get like a really positive ending or negative ending so that would be pretty cool I don't know if it works out that way, but that would be pretty neat. Let's explore. I like how it just kind of like lets you walk. I would have been totally safe, by the way, too. I... Well, no. Actually, I take that back. I'm not sure I would have been safe. Oh. We have some more prayer going on here. Nothing spits out evil eyes. What's this way? Well, I guess I have to be able to have a body to go through there. Okay. I also like how when you die, you basically get to see everything. What is that? Can I possess this? I cannot possess this. That almost looks like a mini boss. Oh, I fell. This is where I came from. This is where I fell through originally instead of just going straight. I went I got sidetracked and went to the right. I wonder if you'd have just like went straight, that would have just taken you straight to the boss. I could possess him. I don't think the enemies respawn. No, they don't. Let's possess him. Oh, 
Actually, I wonder if he... I wonder if the enemies do respawn. Well, that hammer guy's body didn't respawn. He didn't respawn. Oops. Oh, there we go. That's where I died. Headshot. Oh, 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 that's what you get. Now, something else killed me, too. There was an evil eye up here. No, not here. Where were you? Something else was hitting me. And I thought it was an evil eye. Can I climb ladders? I cannot climb ladders. Okay. Oh, maybe I ran in there and an evil eye hit me. That's possible. But yeah, I said it, it looks like you're supposed to cross this bridge here and then maybe go through there or maybe go explore that way. I'm not sure you're supposed to be able to aim up and hit the evil eye on the other side of this, this archway. Hello? Hmm. We have stairs there. Is that an evil eye over there? I'm going to hit it anyway, just see what happens. It was something. Oh, this is the, the praying room. Oh, crud. And through there is that device that spits out the evil eyes. Can I snipe them from here? Ooh, will they not notice me? Ooh, this is cheap. I like this. I'm a big fan. Ooh, we got a twofer. I'm a big fan of being cheap. I think that's everyone in there. Okay. Nothing up here is going to kill me, right? No? Okay. Making sure. I know I do have that thing that spews out eyes. Let's get be ready for that. Come on. He walks so slow when I pull this out. Oh, that's another smart tactic. Just when you kill enemies, don't absorb the blood right away. Leave it there. I think after so much time goes by, it does just disappear. But, I mean, if you're full anyway, you might as well just not absorb the blood. Leave it there for... Uh... Oh, what's that? What's that? But leave it there to heal later. Thought I heard footsteps. This doesn't do anything, right? This has to do something. I'm not going to go that way. 
I think that actually takes you back to the way we came from. Alright, what's through here? I think this is the way forward. Ew. What is that? Not nice is what that is. No more evil eyes there. I think it flew at me and it either flew through the wall or it's stuck in that corner for now, which I'm fine with. Like, I can't absorb that green gas. I'm guessing that's a poison of some kind. I also wonder if I'll take fall damage from just dropping down. Wait, what's that? What's that over there? Is that a spearman? I can't tell. Oh, let's drop down, see what happens. Nope, no fall damage. There you are. There you are. Now what's hitting me? There you Oh, there's so many! Oh, this is- Oh, because of that thing, that's why. Oh, I'm gonna die. At least I kill that thing that spawns them. Now I just have to respawn in here and kill the evil eyes. I'm gonna have to dodge as soon as I get here. Oh there, oh, there it is. I am grateful there was like two souls here or two bodies to possess. This was a rough area. The blood of the sacrificed is leaking from above. All this suffering. Thank you. 
I don't know if you get too close to them if they explode and hurt you or not. So I'd rather just kill them from here. What the heck is that? I guess that was just the top of a mushroom looking at. Alright, we're in and out the other side. I had a feeling. I said the website howlongyoubeat.com said this was like a 30 to 40 minute game and we're already like an hour and 20 minutes. I said it'd take like probably an hour or two to beat it. I think I heard one of those things that spits out the evil eyes. Those are annoying. If this ever becomes a full game, they need to like really tone those down like a lot or make them only like appear in one area of the game and then rarely elsewhere an open door there or we can just go up the stairs to what might be the way out if this were a more traditional souls game i would go across the hall and i would explore what's through that door but maybe even go down Oh, I can't go downstairs. Oh, this is the wall that we had to go through. We were just over there. We dropped down earlier. Yeah, I would go through there and explore, but um, I feel like this game only rewards you with death for exploring. That's probably not how it was envisioned, but it's not finished, so that's just probably how it is. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. We'll go over there. I'm, cu I'm too curious now not to look. I'll peek around. If there's enemies over there, though, I'm not going to fight them if I can avoid it. Oh, there's another soul there. Okay, okay. Nice. What over here? Hmm. Well, that's a locked door. They pray for whom doesn't exist anymore. Do you remember when they used to pray to you? Anything under the stairs? No, okay. Oh, evil eye. Oh, you can't even see the door behind me. I got dark quick. What's this? Who 
Tomb of the First King. Ooh. Oh, there's a soul there. There's a soul back there. Is this the boss area? This large circular arena? Could be. Oh, there's a soul there, too. Looks like there's doorways. Like, large doors you can run through. I wonder if the uh, the boss can follow you, track you. Oh, they're all praying to it. I don't know if I leave them alone, if they'll just stay there and pray. Or if they'll actually try to come kill me. So I'm going to kill them all now. But I'm going to try not to absorb their blood. Um, unless I absolutely need to. I also kind of like the way the, the spear falls off at a distance. You do have to have some skill, or at least patience, uh, in aiming the spear. Oh, really? I, you're dead? I guess he's dead. Three, three bodies here we can possess. Countless of us have been sacrificed in here. Will this bloodbath ever stop? Nothing. I wonder if the something's supposed to trigger if I get closer. What you seek is in this room. Is it still what you truly desire? Wait, did he just not say anything over there? I'll try him one more time and then I'll approach the center. says nothing. Okay. A lot of blood. Oh, no. Wow, that was quick. Oh, I didn't even heal either. I have all this this blood around from the people I killed and I didn't I totally forgot to even absorb it. Oh, 
Wow. Old King Remnant. I guess all I had to do was just shoot it one of its its eyes and Am I even doing damage? Ah Oh Nope, I am not doing damage. Oh, I see. That's what you do. Half dead. That's pretty awesome. Bam. That was a good boss fight. That was clever. That was, I like that. I do kind of hope it's over, though, because I only have one body left that I can possess. Oh. What? And I can't absorb any blood? I just have to fight him like this? Oh, I think I get how I'm supposed to win. That's tough, though. Wait, what is he doing over there? Oh, he's probably restoring... Yeah, he is. He's restoring the, um... The boss's HP. But I think what you're supposed to do here is... Oh... Stop it. I think what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to blood dash through. Oh, that was close. Oh! Ow! I'm gonna die. Man, I'm doing that. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I need blood. This is annoying. Wow. Just, he, he died by touching me. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. I think I only have one left. They, they heal him so quickly. Like he's already back at full HP. So it's like when they fight, I have to kill them so they stop healing him. And I have to throw this into his head while he's moving and while he's shooting his hands out to smack me and while he's firing blue orbs that even if they miss me, they leave areas on the ground that can injure me like this is this is ridiculous they went too far now the boss fight the way it was was perfect before this happened it was creative it was unique now it's this is this is going too far we're trying to do too many things Like, this is literally the first boss in this game, and it's like, I have yet to fight a Dark Souls boss that's, that's been this hard. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm back at full health. This, oh my gosh. What? He changed his tactic. Now he, he went back and forth twice. Because why not? Oh. Ah. Finally. He is so OP. 
He's a first boss and he's completely overpowered. This is like, this is what I would expect from, as like, maybe for the final boss in a Souls game. Like the boss at the very end of the game. He's already back at full HP. If he, if, I mean, like, I understand why they have people coming out to give him, restore his health, because I'm supposed to kill them to restore my health, but I can't kill them fast enough. Oh my gosh. Oh crap. I'm dead. <laughs> and there's still someone healing him all the way down there. Triple dash is nice, though. This is so difficult. Oh no, no, no. Leave him hello oh my gosh, stop it. Oh no. I thought he was going to go past me, not just land right in front of me. Oh no! Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to aim. Stop healing him.
die. Oh my gosh. I felt like I might just give up. I felt like it would take hours to kill him at that rate. Oh, I'm absorbing a boss's soul now. Give me your blood. Give me your soul. Give it, give it all here. Absorbed King's blood. I wonder if that allows me to keep the um the full HP bar instead of it going down. Nope, still going down. Uh-oh. I suppose to walk out into the blood? Oh, I guess so. If this takes me to the next area. If, if there is a next area, that might be the end of a demo. I will say, very, very cool concept. The boss, for a first boss, like I said, that was that was too hard. Especially if you're not good at aiming with the spear. But it was very creative. High marks for creativity. Uh, and as far as where they could... Thank you for playing the Blood Spear demo. Here's a form to give us some feedback. You can also join the community discord at blah, blah, blah. Well, that's kind of cool. So you actually have to beat the demo in order to give them feedback. Um, which I can't do because I guess. Oh, wait, wait. OK. Hmm, I might do that later. Ah. But yes, uh... Hour and 50 minutes there. The boss fight was tough for me. Because... The game is still new. It was kind of hard to, uh... To throw the spear and hit what I wanted to hit. But the first boss was creative. Um, you really had to control your greed. Like, I just wanted to... I mean, at, at, once you hit phase three... Well, once we ended phase two, I was hoping it was done. And then once we got to phase three, uh, I really just wanted it to be over. I really just wanted it to empty as many spears as I could in that little forehead eyeball and, and finish it. But you actually have to focus first and foremost on the people healing him. Um, and that really does two things. That that stops him from being healed, but also 
as you take damage, and you will take damage, um, it gives you plenty of blood to absorb to heal yourself when you do get hit. So, that was rough. Uh, the boss fight there. Yeah, I would, I would still tune that down. Um, for a first level, and I mean, I don't know. Maybe the demo is taken from somewhere in, in the middle of their game or something, but I think it was a bit, a bit tough. Um, also, the the pods that kept spewing out the uh, the evil eyes, those were irksome. But overall, I think it was a good demo. Good graphics. Um, the frame rate was super choppy, but I, I really don't know if it's just because it's really unoptimized. Um, and this is running on a Steam Deck, so maybe on a beefy gaming rig, like it would perform flawlessly, I don't know. Um, I would love to see enhancements to the gameplay, and I, I kind of rambled off a few of those earlier. Like, I would love for there to be a, a lock-on option, even if a lock-on uh, were to only allow you to aim center mass. Like, maybe you find enemies later on where that's not going to work, and you do have to aim for crit spots. But at least for, like, the average enemy you can lock on, like, that would be nice. Or, if you can do it so that the, um, the targeting crosshair for the spear is always on screen, instead of only appearing on screen when you uh, raise the spear to throw it. I think that would be a decent trade-off as well, because when you raise the spear, if you hold the spear and you don't throw it immediately, you do charge it and it does get stronger. So there is still a reason, even if you, even if the targeting crosser always stays on screen, there is a reason to, um, to still hold the spear and throw it when you can. Also, I would like to see... Uh, the speed at which you can walk increase while while aiming the spear. That would be nice. Um, those archers, they were picking me apart. Uh, I, I couldn't... It, it would be nice if I could hold up my spear, peek out from cover, hit him with the spear, and then sort of duck back into cover. And I felt like I really couldn't do that. Not very effectively. Um... But overall, fun experience. And uh, yeah, if this gets turned into a full game, I can't say that I would pick it up, but I would um, look at some more gameplay videos and I would uh, I would follow the game. I would wait for it to come out and yeah, I would see how it progresses. But I would say that scratched my soul's itch for tonight and uh will i be transferring this to the youtube channel <sighs> i can't say that this was an rpg it's it's very much it feels very much like a souls game but a lot of the elements that could make it an action rpg really aren't there um maybe they will be in the full game but they weren't there in the demo there's no upgrade trees you can't make the spear stronger you can't make your armor stronger um i did say maybe there is a system where as you progress through the you finished game maybe you'll find other bodies that the spear can possess and in that way you can upgrade your armor because i mean you you are a weapon you're not the knight so i guess it would kind of make sense if your armor is really the bodies that you can possess if you just find stronger bodies later on um as far as what the King's Blood did, or, I mean, maybe it doesn't do anything right now on the demo, but it would be neat if uh, the body that you possessed either got stronger, or maybe it could hold on to uh, the HP more, or, I don't know, it, it gained some sort of unique buff. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of potential. There's definitely a lot of potential uh, with Blood Spear, and I want to see where it goes. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. We're just under two hours on here. Could I put this on Monday Marvels? Uh, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? 
But all right. Take care, everyone. And uh, I'll see you later. And maybe, who knows, maybe Wipeout will throw this on his computer and then I'll, I'll watch him stream it. We'll see. But thanks for joining me. Thank you to Wipeout. Thank you to Cat Dude again for the raid. Uh, thank you to Guns of the Hellghost for being here and to General Organa. And to Jamera for the hydration redemption earlier. I will see you all next time. Actually, I'll see you all tomorrow uh, for anime afternoons in the Discord and for community chat and gaming news, our weekly just chatting stream afterwards on the Twitch channel. So, have a good night, everyone. Bye.